Oh, hello everyone. Thank you for coming. Uh, my name is Greg. I'm a product manager in marketing at Instacluster. Uh, I'm not a developer, but I do uh, uh, you know, work with highly technical people all day, which is always fun to get them to explain to me what their highly technical concepts are. Um, that's pretty much what I do on a day-to-day -day basis. But before working in tech, uh, I actually used to work in film. And I noticed that there was a big problem with a lot of really smart people who were just struggling to explain and excite what it is that the uh, projects ad actually were. I thought, you know what, there are some, there are some similar similarities there. So I have a question for you. And I promise this is the only transition that I have throughout the en entire pre 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 presentation. But when was the last time that you actually went to the cinema? You know, when was th the last time that you, you, you chose a movie? How did y you, 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 you choose it? You know, uh, because there's going to come a time where you're going to be up on the screen and you're going to have to explain to all those different people in the cinema there what you, your project is and to get them excited about it. So, and odds are most of these people are going to have absolutely no idea what it is that you are actually talking about. So, how do you how do you do it? And first of all, you know who are these people going to to be? You know they could be. Put, potential investors, other engineers, your ideal user who you're trying to, 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 to get people to, to use your n n new tech. They could be uh, different businesses, just random people, or they could be people like me, sales and marketers, but we're going to have to understand what it is that we are, are actually work, working with first before we can help you get other people excited about your, your project too. So. Looking back on all my uh, film training, I thought, you know what? Instead of you know pretending like like we're we're talking about a piece of software, even though it is, think of it like a movie, and we need to sell it and market it like a movie as well. So now, all right, no, I noticed they did a movie, a movie. How is a piece of software and a movie similar? Well. I would say that there are three key similarities that you share in your, your struggle to get your project off the ground that movie marketers do with, the, uh, with our products too. First and foremost, you have to excite a global audience. These are going to be people across uh, you know, different cultures, different l languages. You know, it, it's, you're going to have to figure out how that, that you can entertain them at the, at the end, end of the day. Number two, you're going to be creating a product with a ton of, ton of different s s s stakeholders. Again, they're going to be all over the world too. And I would say number three, first and the biggest point is that there's going to be ruthless competition to s s stand out. You know, just how co competitive is it? Talking about film, for, for example, with the Sundance F F Film Festival back in 2023, so their per first year back after COVID. They had over 4,000 films su su submitted for 99 of uh, available slots. So that gives you about a two, two and a half per, per, per percent it, it acceptance rate. And if you consider that the average film goer to those festivals see about five movies, you know, what are the, the odds that when you submit your film that it gets seen by a random person at the Sundance Film Festival? Not great. But you can still do it. So what are the two key things that y you should do to, to help you market y your, your, your project? Your tagline and trailer. So why these two? You know, think about the, 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 the last time that you were watching Netflix. You know, you have all those t t different options. You spend, odds are, if you're like me, you probably spend more time trying to pick something than you actually do watching it. You know, but of all those different options there, how many are you actually going to click on t t t to learn more, more about? If there are 5,600 different options to choose from, you're not going to click on 5,600 options uh, b b b before you, 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 you finally t t decide on what you actually w w want to watch that evening. Well, you know, movie studios know this too. So that's why there, there's a specific user journey that they follow. You know, this is pretty similar to uh, Apache. There are, I think, uh, from just looking at the websites, about 300 
different pr projects. Uh, you have 210 different committees, uh, committees, and then but open source in general, there's something like 3.8 million different projects. So, how do you stand out with with all of that? You know, just and this is I just just going from Apache B to we're still in the Apache C name. So there's still, you know, a heck of a lot of more projects there. So. People aren't going to sit around and click on every single one and read blocks and blocks of tests and then just go through all, all those lists. People just are, are, are not going to, to, to do that. So how, how do you stand out? And, and in this first stage, the, the absolute first thing that you want to do is to, to try to stand out as much as possible. So start with your tagline. So a tagline is by did definition, you know, a short text which serves to clarify a thought for or is designed with a form of dramatic effect. Emphasis there on dramatic effect. That is, is absolutely uh, what what you, you are trying to implant in the, the user's mind is to hook them in. And again, you're doing this in one sentence, maybe two. So here are some the most legendary taglines in the history of film. No, in space, no one can hear you scream. You'll never go in the water again. He came from nothing, and he conquered everything. Now, none of these taglines, they don't actually mention what the films are. They don't actually mention what the films are about. And that's exactly the point. You know, what they do is that, that they excite people into demanding to learn more about your project. So put yourself in the user's shoes again. You know, they're not clicking on each and every single one of those. But if you are lucky and they do randomly click on it, or maybe SEO brought them to the, the website, something, at this first stage, you have just a few seconds but of, of, of text. They're going to read it before they move on to, 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 to the next project. So what you'll need to do, you need to make those seconds count. And you need to make sure that ultimately the user is going to, to, to re re remember that project or just that one line of text after they have done all that reading. So what makes a good tagline? What, you know, you're not explaining what your project actually is. Instead, you want to play on people's uh, emotions. You, you want to get them wanting and then ultimately demanding to know more about your, your project. So this is why. This is ultimately an Apache conference. I've fitted a great example is Social Network. Uh, it's the story of Facebook. So one tagline that, that they could have done that accurately sums up the movie is the story about the creation of Facebook from launching in a Harvard dorm into the tech giant that is t today. You know, there's actually nothing wrong with that tagline, you know. It, it works. It's entirely accurate. This is what they did instead. You don't get to 500 million friends without making a few enemies. So, now, which tagline is going to stand out, you know? If you, if, 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 again, put yourself back in the user's shoes again, after they have read through dozens, if not even more, of, of, of the, those t taglines, which one evokes more emotion? Which one is, is more memorable? You know, it's going to be this one. You don't get to 500 million friends without making a few enemies. And at this point, the one thing that you want to do is to get people to stop scrolling and to go, OK, that was interesting. I now want to learn more about this project. So when you're making your, your tagline, I suggest to do three, uh, three rules. First, avoid using all the latest buzzwords. It, it'll be very tempting, because I'm sure a lot of your projects are going to involve AI, machine learning, Kubernetes. A lot of other projects are too. So if you have a, a you know, a go back to that list, and if you're getting hit with those same keywords over and over again, it's going to be really, really hard to stand out. Uh, number two, don't stare away the, 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 the audience. Less is more. Keep it to one sentence, maybe two. You know, you do not want them to force to read and and endless text. 
because the odds are they're just going to bounce and go on to something else. Uh, and number three, big, big rule, you do not need to be technical. You know, it's, it's going to be extremely tempting, but right now you, you may not know who your, your audience is. They may not have the exact same technical background as you, but you absolutely do not need to, 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 to be technical to explain and excite people about your technical project. So, okay, let's say that your tagline worked, people are, are hooked, and now it's time to move on to the next thing in movie marketing, which is your trailer. You, you know, and I would say, yeah, again, none of those taglines there, then none of them explain, you know, the, uh, you just sort of guess that, that, that the first two are about a horror film, but again, you don't see aliens, you don't see a shark, you don't see n n n n n Napoleon. So, okay, now it's time to move on to your trailer. And I said that there were no more transitions. This is what in the film business we would call a twist. <laughs> All right, so your tagline did its job. And now people are, are demanding t to learn more about your project, but not everything yet. So what do you do? You, you make a trailer. And so how, how do you m make a trailer? Well, a good one is going to explain more about your project, but it doesn't give away everything to it. You're going to highlight the key and exciting parts to it, but you're still going to leave the audience wanting t t t t to see more. And ultimately, I would say it creates FOMO. Like you, you don't want, want to be left out. You want to be in that cinema with other people to find out what is this movie all about. What makes a bad trailer? Well, it just recaps everything from s start to finish. There's no drama to it. They inform, but they should excite. It gives away the ending. Uh, and so there's actually no need to, to see what the final pr product is. So. How do you actually make a, a good trailer? Step one, establish the, the scene. You know, what are you, you doing now in, in your day to day? What are the problems that you're seeing that you're thinking, you know what, I want to try and solve this. I want to go on the, the journey to create this, the, this new project. Step two, you need to create your, your, your villain. Who are you up against? Is it a lack of money? Is it you're going up against a gigantic corporation? Is it are you going up against something that just hasn't been done before, or people in the past have tried but they failed? And so, who is the villain in the story? And then finally, step three: you you want to show how you are ultimately going to defeat the villain. What that final project is going to look like. And ultimately, you want to end with with a possibility of hope, or why you should just come along uh, for the ride. So, a, a great example of movie trailers recently has been the you know entire or the Marvel Cinematic Universe. So, how do you explain all of that in just two and a half minutes? All those different stories, all those different characters, the the time jumps, the different multi for all that, all that stuff. How do you do it? You don't. Instead, you, 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 you go in, in this, tr 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 in this trailer format. It, you know, these trailers work because you know who, who the heroes are. You know who the, the villain is. You can see the problem that the heroes are up against and, and the battle that, that they're fighting then ultimately you're hooked on why you want to see that villain defeated. So when I cr created my uh, tagline and trailer, this is what, what I did. In the uh, 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 previous talk, he was talking about LinkedIn and scrolling, which makes a heck of a lot of sense. So when I created my tagline, I said, you won't need it for every instance, but when you do, you'll notice the difference right away. That was all I put because I knew that the user, if they're on LinkedIn, for example, they're just going to keep scrolling and scrolling and scrolling. I wanted to get them to stop, so I kept my text uh, extremely short. And ultimately, I left it so that I wanted them to click on see more so that I would eventually bring them to my uh, uh, trailer, which in this case what was a blog. And also, uh, full disclosure, 
This piece that I wrote about is actually about post-dress. I do realize it's at an Apache conference, so I don't know if, I'm gonna, if it's going to be like Game of Thrones or just going to shame me out of here for, for mentioning uh, post-dress, but I am currently working on my new Apache blog uh, that will be following these exact same rules. So after that, when it, when it came time to, to create my, my trailer, which, which was a blog, I followed those same three steps. Step one, I established this, this scene. I said, you know, things can and often do go wrong with data, but trying to plan for those unknown s s s scenarios is pretty much impossible. There has to be a better way. Step two, I created m my villain. The cost of having the storage and speed needed is prohibitively expensive. No matter what, you are never going to get the budget that you want. It's just too expensive. And then step three, I created hope. I said, well, what if there actually was a way to, to get the speed we, we, we need and bring costs down by integrating with this new f feature? You know, this could be a, a total game changer. So, you know, taglines and trailers in the movie business, they're it, literally just that, a tagline trailer, but when it comes to us, it can be many different things. It can be, uh, you know, blogs, pitch decks, ads, uh, interviews, you know, conference talks, <laughs> like this one, actual trailers. I'm currently working on an actual trailer uh, for one of our products. And so it, it, it can come in multiple, uh, multiple different forms. And I, I do want to stress this again. You do not need highly technical details to build excitement for your project. Now, go back to, to those uh, tagline examples, especially when it comes to the social network. You don't, you don't get to 500 million friends without making a few enemies. There's nothing technical about that. Doesn't even talk about you know court or, or a business drama. It's just it's exciting. Do the, the exact same thing with your project too. So, finally, you know there's a good reason why why movie marketing hasn't changed much over the 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 the, the, the excuse me why it hasn't changed much over the years. You know it it just works. Start with the tagline. That's going to get people excited. It's going to Im you know, just just to help them or, or help you, your your project be memorable. You know, there's a reason why I started my project off with or my pre pre presentation off with uh, you know curtains pulling. One week from now, of all the presentations that you saw here, how many are you going t t to remember? the exact same way that they opened their pre 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 presentation. Mine, hopefully, even if you remember nothing else from it, you'll remember the curtain point. So th there's a reason why I, d I chose that. So once you've gotten people to stop scrolling, once you've gotten people hooked with, with your tagline, show them more. You know, cite them w w with a trailer. Go into more detail, but not all the detail. Finally, get them to your project. You know, that is the, the, the ultimate goal there. People just don't randomly show up in a movie cinema not knowing anything about a movie and saying, yeah, I'll have one ticket f for that. There's a user journey that movie studios and movie marketers use to, to get people to finally buy a ticket, to finally watch it on Netflix or Disney Plus or whatever way to stream or that there is t t today. So... Instead of talking about a piece of software, instead of talking about something that is highly technical, my advice is just, you know, pretend that it's a movie. It works. Thank you.